Local Gemma is a utility from Hugging Face which enables you to run Gemma 2 model locally in Python in a very very fast way. A common feedback which Hugging Face says they receive in Transformers is that picking the right parameters and settings for use case is not obvious and that is so true. If you have been following my channel, I review a lot of models almost on daily basis and one of the struggles which I face also is that I have to do a lot of tinkering to come up with the presets and settings whether it is LM Studio or whatever is there. We have to make sure that the presets and the settings of running inference and using models is according to the model and according to our architecture whether I am using CUDA, CPU or whatever. That is where this local Gemma also tries to help out. This is the first local Gemma repo which helps patch this thing up. It provides you CLI and Python usage and also more importantly it provides you automatic preset based on your hardware and it also enables you to have trade off between speed, memory and accuracy. So it provides you three types of presets. First is exact which maximizes accuracy. Then we have memory that uses 4-bit quantization and then we have a memory extreme which offloads most of the stuff to CPU. Another cool thing with this that you can not only install it with pip which is a standard python package manager that installs everything globally but you can also install it with pipx which creates a python virtual environment and keeps your installation separate from your rest of the system. It works with CUDA, MPS and CPU and it uses logit soft capping which means that you won't get the weird results same some folks are getting with the 27 billion parameter and also uh, due to the soft logit um, due to the soft logit capping it won't be working with um, self attention and also few of the other packages as per their repo such as stpa and flash attention because they are not compatible with Gemma 2 also in the future they are aiming to bring a speed preset that uses torch.compile to improve the inference speed so stay tuned with this repo this looks really good project and i'm more than sure this will be expanded to other models hopefully in the future so let's try to get it installed locally and then we will see how it works. Before I show you the installation let me give a huge shout out to Mast Compute who are sponsoring the VM and GPU for this video. If you are looking to rent a GPU on affordable prices I will drop the link to their website in video description. Feel free to check it out. I am also going to give you a coupon code of 50% discount in video description which will give you discount on a range of GPUs. Okay, so enough said, let me take you to my local VM where I am running Ubuntu 22.04 and my GPU card is NVIDIA RTX A6000 with 48 GB of VRAM and I am going to use this um, new library which is our local Gemma with 9 billion Gemma 2 model. So we will be also downloading it through it. First we will use it through pipx and then we will try it out with pip. So let me first clear the screen and then we are going to create a conda environment to keep everything separate from our local system. Let's wait for it to get finished, shouldn't take too long. And that is done, we are in the new environment, let me clear the screen and then let's install the pipx, I am just using Ubuntu sudo apt with uh, install option and that is going to install the pipex here on my local system let's wait for it it's quite lightweight just press capital y here and that should be done shortly so pipex is installed we can ensure it that it is part of the path and it has already been done okay so maybe we can also uh, source it so that you know we don't have to restart our shell here so for sourcing mean that it is going to make sure that everything is in the path so we just have to activate our conda environment again due to that oh, sorry let me clear the screen and then i'm just okay so now we are back in our local gem conda environment okay so pipex is done 
And now in order to install this local gemma, all you need to do is to do pipx install local dash gemma and in the scare brackets CUDA because I am using a GPU. If you are using MPS, just replace this CUDA with MPS. If you want to do it with, for CPU, just replace this CUDA with CPU. But I am using GPU, so I am going with CUDA. So let me run it. And you can see that it is creating the shared libraries. Now the thing is that, as I mentioned earlier, Pipex create a virtual environment. You don't have to really create a Conda environment for it, but I am just doing it to keep everything in one Conda environment that is a standard I follow. But if you are using Pipex, you don't have to do that one. For Pip, yes, I would highly suggest you go with definitely with Conda. So let's wait for this one to finish and then we will proceed further. Okay, so it took bit of a time, but it has installed everything here. As you can see, it has um, confirmed it to you. Now, in order to run it, all you need to do is to run local dash gemma like this, and it is going to um, ask you for the Hugging Face read token. For that, you would need to go to Hugging Face website and grab that token from there. So, when I run this local dash gemma, Let's wait for it to run. And also, first time it just downloads this Gemma to 9 billion. Instruction tune, if you want to use 27 billion, you would have to mention it in the option. Dash dash model, I guess. And I will also let you know shortly. I think it is, um, yeah, dash dash model and then just put 27 billion there. And it is going to download 27 billion instead of 9 billion. But you see, I have put in uh, 9 billion it has automatically went with 9 billion and this is the beauty here so it has automatically set the device to CUDA it has gone with the data type the half precision B float 16 optimization preset is exact so if you remember that is what I told you that exact means that maximizes accuracy it means that 18.3 GB for 9 billion and 68.2 GB for 27 billion by the way and then there, there are some hyper parameters where temperature is 0.7 and this you can also set it uh, easily and if you want to see the options just use local dash gemma dash h and it is going to show you the help anyway so you can talk with it now just uh, we uh, do it another olam and another chatbot so what is the capital of australia there you go what is happiness this is a big question okay yep that is true and you can see that it is also putting it in sort of a markdown format which looks really good it's not convoluted at all it's all running locally i didn't have to tinker with any of the presets and stuff it is doing everything by itself amazing stuff okay so let's exit from here goodbye okay thank you that is a good one so how do i quit from here yeah okay yeah you had to press ctrl c to get out of local gemma now if you want to see what options are available just do local dash gemma dash h and it is going to show you a lot of options from the help as you can see if you want to specify for example, a different model like 27 billion, then you would need to run this command local dash gemma dash dash model 27 billion. Also, if you want um, what to go with another preset instead of the the one which we had used in our previous commands, like we used exact, but if you want to change it to something else, then the command is quite simple. All you need to do is to use this command where I'm using local demo. Uh, model 9 billion and dash dash preset memory you can also change it to um, memory extreme and then the mode is factual now when we say the mode is factual local what happens is that normally it uses um, by default it uses a, you can use a factual one or the chat one by the way and also the creative one so I'm just going to go with the factual one or you can even chat with it up to you and there are a lot of other options as you can see here you can also um, make it silent because you saw that it is quite chatty 
so uh, instead of that you can just put it silent it is just going to give you uh, the response of the model and nothing else you can also put in a random seed value for it reproducibility or for that sort of stuff you can even run a benchmark on it so it looks really cool and also um, for the token you can simply specify token here so very very nifty little dude but packed with punches really uh, really really like it and another thing is that you can pipe your local Gemma CLI with some of the, your own command you see I'm what I'm doing I'm just listing all the files in directory and then I'm, then I'm piping it to local Gemma to describe my files so you just have brought in a sort of new um, power to your operating system with AI by using this local Gemma I really love this thing and sky is the limited you can use any OS utility and then generate the output from it and then pipe it to the local Gemma model and there is a lot of stuff which is on my local directory so it is going to take a bit of more time there you go so it is just breaking down my directories it is going with personal files and that set of stuff yep there are a lot of dot files too so i'm just going to cancel it i don't want to show my personal files here there are a lot of stuff so i'm just i just pressed ctrl c here okay so that is how you do it with pip x now let me show you how you can do with pip and for the pip one i'm just going to create a new honda environment to keep everything separate again so i just called it local gemma one so let's wait for it to get installed that is already done let me clear the screen and for the pip one the command is very similar similar so instead of pipx just do pip install local gemma and then again cuda you can go with mpsr with cpu depending upon your architecture so let's wait for it to get installed and also one another thing which i really like about this is that primarily what is happening is this local gemma is a convenient wrapper around several open source projects which include transformers bits and bytes quanto for the 4-bit optimization on mps and cpu and also accelerate for the large model loading utilities so, so let's wait for this one to finish you don't take too long now and local gemma is installed let me clear the screen now in order to use it launch your python interpreter or just put it in your python code and then you can import the libraries which you have installed from local gemma and also from the transformers and you see i didn't install the transformer separately because it comes bundled in that with local gemma and that is really awesome stuff now you can grab the model like just like you do with the transformers library but we are just using here local gemma for causal lm just specify your model name you can replace it with 27 billion if you like and then preset is memory you can change it to exact or exact uh, the other one let me run it and it is going to download the model now this is interesting because i already have downloaded the model and it is present but it is now downloading it again so i was hoping it will use previous one it because it's the same session um i haven't changed my operating system or anything so i think this is but it is very new i think this will take a bit of a time to get adjusted so well, let's wait for this model to get downloaded and then we will proceed further the model is almost downloaded now and then it is going to put it on my gpu the model is quite big i'm not sure it is going to fit on my gpu but let's see hopefully it will okay good news model has downloaded and now let's grab the tokenizer with the help of this and it's a very similar command that is all done and now you can do the inference with it and for inference you can simply go with this tokenizer i'm just asking it as how much is enough and then you can pass it whatever prompt you like then generate the output from the model and then let's wait for it to generate that is done let's decode it and then you can print out the response by simply printing this decoded text here and then because it has started responding to it because i have just max length is just 20 i guess so that is why it has just printed these 
numbers but that is fine our purpose was to show you how to use this local gemma library with both pip and pipx now you know both of them so i think both methods are great but i prefer the cli one more which is more interactive but if you want to integrate it with your python code then this python functions are really awesome so all in all really good stuff by hugging face team i think uh, one of the best tools i have seen this week so that's it guys i will drop the link to this tool in video description let me know what do you think if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel if you're already subscribed please do me a favor and share it among your network as it helps a lot thanks for watching